The passage from Joel chapter 2 verse 28, And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, carries a powerful message for the church in regard to prophetic warnings. Joel prophecies a time of widespread spiritual outpouring, where the gift of prophecy won't be limited to specific individuals but accessible to people of all ages and backgrounds. This signifies a heightened sensitivity to God's voice and guidance, allowing diverse perspectives to contribute to understanding his messages. With an expanded prophetic landscape, there's the potential for receiving more frequent and diverse warnings from the church. These warnings could encompass spiritual dangers, approaching challenges, or growth opportunities. The church needs to be open to receiving these diverse messages and discerning their truth, regardless of the prophet's background. Welcome to the Sid Hub channel, a platform for shaping mindsets, inspiring hope, and empowering destiny. Please stay with us with your undivided spiritual attention. A few days into 2024, our followers are manifesting Joel chapter 2 verse 28. Stick and stay with us as we present another vision of warning for the church in 2024, sent to us by one of our cherished subscribers, and we would like to share it with you. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. The church, the body of Christ, has deviated from its ideal over the years. Throughout history, the church has faced numerous challenges and undergone various transitions, leading to changes in practice, interpretation, and even structure. Christianity has a long history of self-criticism and reform movements seeking to address perceived deviations from core principles. These movements, from the Protestant Reformation to modern calls for social justice and inclusivity, demonstrate the Church's capacity for ongoing adaptation and renewal. Hear me, brothers and sisters, for the winds of change are howling, and the Spirit whispers warnings in the air. The year 2024 dawns not with the rosy hues of dawn, but with the stark chiaroscuro of a storm. Heed these words, for they are not meant to frighten, but to prepare. These are her exact messages of warning. Beware the serpents in the pulpit, their forked tongues dripping with honeyed lies. They come disguised as angels of light, twisting scripture and peddling prosperity gospels. Their eyes gleam with avarice, their hearts filled with ambition, not love. Their touch, like a viper's, will leave you poisoned with doubt and disarray. Discern their whispers, test their words by the fire of truth, and cast them out of your midst, lest they corrupt the wellspring of faith. Beware the siren song of self, the seductive whisper of comfort and ease. The world outside beckons with promises of instant gratification and fleeting pleasure. It tempts you to forsake the narrow path, to drown the voice of God in the cacophony of desire. But remember, beloved, the world's honeyed cup holds bitterness at the bottom. True joy lies not in fleeting pleasures, but in the abiding presence of the divine. Beware the wolves in sheep's clothing, the disguised enemies who seek to divide and conquer. They will whisper of differences, fan the flames of resentment, and pit brother against brother. Their aim is to fracture the body of Christ, to leave it weak and vulnerable. But remember, beloved, Unity is our shield. Cling to the cords of love, build bridges of understanding, and let the spirit of reconciliation be your weapon against division. Beware the whispers of doubt, the insidious serpent that coils around your faith. Trials will come, disappointments will sting, and the world will roar its defiance. In those moments, doubt will slither in, offering its poisonous comfort. But remember, beloved, your hope is not built on shifting sands, but on the rock of ages. Hold fast to his promises, let his word be your anchor, and let your faith be a beacon that pierces the darkness. This is where her message ended. This is not a prophecy of doom, but a call to vigilance. For even in the storm, God's light shines. Even in the darkness, hope flickers. We, the church, are not meant to be bystanders in this unfolding drama. We are called to be the salt of the earth, the light of the world, the voice of truth in a world deafened by noise. So go forth, brothers and sisters, armed with discernment, love, and steadfast faith. Be the embodiment of unity, the wellspring of compassion, the voice of unwavering truth, and the beacon of unwavering hope. 
Let your lives be a testament to the power of God's love, a testament that even in the darkest hour, the church will not only survive but thrive, becoming a beacon of light in a world desperately needing to see the way. Go forth, and be the change you wish to see. May God bless you and keep you, in the name of Jesus Christ, before we leave you kindly bow down your heads and let us pray for the discernment and protection of the church. O oh, Almighty God, in the name of your Son Jesus Christ, we come before you, hearts heavy with concern for your holy church. We acknowledge the ever-present threat of false prophets and insidious forces that seek to divide and deceive your flock. Open our eyes, Lord, to see through the cunning disguises of those who twist your word and lead your sheep astray. Grant us discernment to recognize the wolves clothed in sheep's skin, who preach their own agendas and not your gospel of love and truth. Sharpen our minds, Father that we may be steadfast in our faith, rooted in the unshakable foundation of your scriptures. Fill us with the Holy Spirit's wisdom, that we may discern truth from falsehood, and stand firm against the temptations of worldly allure and empty promises. Empower your church, Lord, with a spirit of unity and vigilance. Let brotherly love bind us together, and let your light burn brightly within us, so that even in the darkest of times, we may bear witness to your glory. Lord Jesus, equip us with the courage and boldness to proclaim your truth with unwavering conviction. Fill our hearts with your fire and our voices with your word. Inspire us to be living examples of your love and compassion, drawing others closer to your light. Let your message of hope and redemption resound through the world, silencing the voices of the wicked and turning the tide against the forces of evil. Raise up defenders of the faith, O Lord, strong voices to speak your truth with clarity and boldness. Equip them with your armor of righteousness, and let their words cut through the fog of deception, shining a beacon of hope for the lost and confused. And protect your vulnerable ones, Father, those whom the seductive whispers of the tempter may sway. Shield them with your grace, strengthen their resolve, and guide them back to the fold if they stray. Father, equip us with the tools of discernment and the armor of your word. Make us bold witnesses to your truth, unafraid to share the gospel in a world hungry for light. May our lives be a testament to your power, a living example of your love in action. Let us grow in faith, knowledge, and wisdom, becoming instruments of your grace and conduits of your blessings to the world. Lord, amidst the darkness and uncertainty, guide us with the light of your hope. Remind us that you are the victor, that your love triumphs over all. Grant us the strength to persevere in the face of challenges, to hold fast to your promises, and to never lose sight of the eternal crown that awaits those who remain faithful. Through the power of the cross, Lord Jesus, let the church remain victorious over any challenge. Crush the serpent's head underfoot, and grant us the perseverance to weather any storm, knowing that you are with us to the very end. May your holy name be praised, O God, now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Kindly share this message of strength with someone who needs it, and let's build a community of believers. Subscribe for more uplifting content, and do not hesitate to contact us if you have any prayer requests, questions, or any prophetic vision. God bless you.